Hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here, here to do a video with my Motorola Photon Q4 G LTE from Sprint. Here demonstrating HDMI out on the device. So you will see I do have, I believe it's called a micro HDMI cable right here. One side is uh, HDMI to be plugged into TV or monitor and this side would be plugged into the phone. So you will see on the side here, you have a charging port and an HDMI port. You can just plug this cable into the side of the phone and then you plug the other end into your screen you would like it to duplicate on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cable into a television and I will be back. All right, so I went ahead and plugged the cable itself into the television. Of course, you will see it says no signal, obviously, because it's not connected to the phone. So what I can do is go ahead and unlock the phone, obviously, so it has the screen on and then plug the cable into the phone. And then you should see um, it actually auto rotates the home screen to be landscape obviously for the television itself and here let me get out of the way you will see uh, it basically duplicates the cell phone screen on the television so whatever I do on the phone it duplicates it on the TV so you'll also notice it is extremely fast and responsive um, obviously you can have it uh, over on your screen whether you want to play a game whether you want to watch a movie um, the obviously the sound since it is HDMI the sound does get put through the television as opposed to the phone itself so if I wanted to let's say I wanted to go ahead and go to YouTube and watch some kind of YouTube video I can it's signing in I'm on 3G at the moment so what I can do is let's say I wanted to search for QB King 77 so that should come up obviously loading up QB King 77 I can select a video and you'll see I'm on 3G at the moment, but it is loading up YouTube um, and it should load up the video. Obviously, it might take a little bit of time to load up. All right, so here we go, it loaded on up. Uh, you will see it is in low quality. Um, it looks like you cannot control the volume from the phone. So you have to do it from the TV, so hang on. Sorry about that. Let me pause it. Um, you will see it is in low quality in the bottom left of the TV here. The HQ is not selected. I can go ahead and select it. And then it should, um, I believe, put it in HDMI out in 1080p, I believe. The video quality should be highly improved once I do do this. But you will uh, notice that it does go into full screen mode and you can watch a YouTube video, you can watch a video, uh, a movie that's on your phone. And there you go, so it looks much better now that I switched to HQ. So that's just an example uh, of a YouTube video. Kinda wanna get out of that. So now we can try something else. So again, you will notice, obviously everything is duplicated. There is no way that I know of to get it to stand up. Obviously you wouldn't really want to because it would look very slim on the screen it, uh, itself here. So you are stuck in landscape mode when plugged into HDMI. You can obviously check your emails, go through, you can read them from your television. You will see the soft uh, key buttons are also duplicated up there. Otherwise, if we wanted to play some kind of game, let's go ahead and try Tilt to Fly. You'll notice the sound is duplicated and we can go ahead and play. So this is actually an accelerometer game. So what I'm gonna try and do is play it and use the phone and you will see it's used on, it's uh, duplicated on the TV so I can basically play it from the TV and just kind of have fun playing uh, this game on the TV and not have to look at the, the phone screen itself. So the screen doesn't move, um, but the, obviously you are moving still. All right, so obviously having a little bit of fun, so. Uh, there we have it. That would just be a game. Audio is duplicated. Uh, it's obviously sent through the TV. All right, so that's just about everything I did want to show. You can see that the, the keyboard obviously will show up on the screen as well. And you can say, hey, and it's very responsive. So just another little thing. But other than that, though, that's, that's about it. HDMI out on the Motorola Photon Q4 G LTE from Sprint. Very cool feature. Uh, definitely something that could come in handy, whether you want to play music through your television or... You want to watch a movie, obviously play a game, anything like that. So definitely let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.